Hello, I'm Josh Murphy, one of the instructors here for the high school diploma, high school equivalency class. Today we're going to look over the Aztec program and just do a quick tutorial for those of you guys who are taking your high set or GED exams. If you're a diploma student, click off right now because you're watching the wrong video. So we're just going to spend a few quick moments going through how to use the Aztec system. I'm going to start that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is share a screen with you guys so you can see where we're gonna begin. This is the initial website for Aztec. They just reformatted it in the last month or so. So it may not be super familiar with you or for you right now. That's what we're gonna cover immediately. The first step is gonna to be to enter your username. For most of you, it'll start off with the prefix 212, your first name, a dot, and then your last name. So it's not too hard to, to remember. Your password is even easier. It's just password and all lowercase. Once you log in, you're going to see a screen that chronicles how much time you've spent on this particular class in the last seven days. Uh, you can look out over the last 14 and 30 days. This is primarily for your use. We do track your hours, but we have our own data. We don't use this screen just to give you a rough idea. The first main step is going to be to go to the upper left hand corner where it says dashboard and you're going to select classrooms under classrooms you'll notice there's a set of cards and each of these cards is an option or a class that you can take as you may recall from your orientation the first thing we want you to do is to take the locator test so that's this card right here you're just going to click on the triangle the play button and then you're going to go to learning plan. So ignore all this fun stuff in here. I'm just going to go right to learning plan. And you're going to either select the math test, the reading test, or the language arts. This is more writing. So the test we want you to take is the reading test. You'll click on that and the exam will start getting processed. You'll see here the exam is 54 questions. You'll have a timer over here. We're not too concerned about the time. The goal is for you guys to take this test and we'll get the results, you'll text them or email them to us. It will allow us to place you in the best possible class. We don't wanna start you in a class that's too easy or conversely in one that's too difficult for you. So once you've gone through the 54 questions, it'll give you your score. And again, just text uh, your teacher the results or email, whichever you prefer. Once you finish that, you will always start up in the upper left-hand corner, go back to classrooms, and now your teacher will have assigned you one of these two cards, either the high set prep or what we call the pre HSE or the bridge series. This is a little bit easier, but again, it's nothing's really uh, completely basic. It's just going to help you get started. So it's a little bit of a more, more of a gentle roll into the whole high set uh, indoctrination. If we click on bridge, it's going to load the various programs. All of it is very busy. There's a lot of stuff on the screen. The main thing to focus on is you're on your class home. We're not too concerned about that. We want to go to learning plan. This is where you're going to be studying the lessons and taking the quizzes that are going to help prepare you for the test. So you'll be under, you can ignore the bonus. Um, you're going to go down to either reading, writing, or math. I would advise you all to start on reading since that's the foundation for nearly every one of the high set tests with math being the only exception. So click on the reading and it just divided up again into three different units. So it starts off with general, specific, and then gathering. Just start with the first one, general. Just go in order. There's a pretest. You can choose to take this or not. It's totally your call. I would recommend not taking it at the beginning and then maybe just saving the post test and doing that one at the end. So each lesson has a corresponding or matching drill that's part of it. So the first thing you want to do is do the lesson on reading for facts. When I click on this, it's going to open a series of slides. There's a volume, as you can hear, someone trying to talk over me there. You can either listen to the person describe it or you can mute it. That way, if you wanted to listen to your own music while you read through and studied this, if you want to take notes, you can take notes. However you learn best, we encourage. So once you've gone through each of these slides, It'll flash when it's ready to go on to the next one. It's just going to highlight some of them are very fast. Some of them be patient. Other items will open up or unfold. This one just talks about understanding what you read, comparing facts and opinions, something that's very important during the high set reading 
reading and social studies tests in particular. Once you finish this lesson, you have gone all the way through the 24 slides, exit. It will save your progress. You can see right here, I've already gone through 13% in that short amount of time. You're gonna take a drill onto the same subject matter, reading for facts. Some of them are very short. They might just be true false. Some of them might have you reading a longer passage and answering a question, but the drills always are gonna consist of 10 questions. There'll be different questions each time you log in. So you, if you select an answer and you're wrong, like I was right there, it'll tell you immediately that you were wrong and why the correct answer is the right one. Once you've gone through all 10 of these, then you can submit your drill. It'll be stored in your activity scores right here. So if you ever wanna check up and see how am I doing, you can go through the activity scores and you'll see in this first drill, I got a 0%. So I set the bar pretty low. Hopefully you can do a lot better than that. And again, you could take this drill more than one time. If you get kicked out, it, you can start the drill again. No harm, no foul. This has um, a full record of all the tests and essays when you get into the writing subject matter that you will have taken by the time you get to the end of the high set prep. And then you'll be ready to take the test. The lights have just gone out of me here, so we're gonna make those come back on. Magic. Going back up to the top, I'm on learning plan again and under reading. Once I finish that first section, general reading skills, I'll just move on to the second section and notice everything is exactly the same. There's a pretest, then there's your lessons, there's a drill that matches each lesson. Very important that you take the drill right after the lesson and then move on to the next lesson, the next drill, and so on and so forth. So that's the strategy. You can take the post test at the end if you choose. That's the strategy for going through each of these Aztec sections on the various subjects, whether it's social studies or whether it's math or reading, it's all gonna have a very similar format. When you finish one, we want you to, to text or email your instructor to let us know. Then your instructor can review your scores that we showed you earlier and offer some advice on what the next step would be. So if you go back to dashboard, we might recommend that after finishing the bridge program or pre-HSE, that's like beginning high set, that you enter into the prep program, which is more of the advanced high set prep. So this is very close, if not even more difficult than what the actual test will include. So you should be very prepared once you've gone through these. And many of you will start on this program first. It just depends on how you do on that initial reading test that we showed you at the beginning of this video. Again, you're gonna to go to learning plan first. I know it says practice test right here. It's tempting to click on that. Um, these tests are the most difficult, so we're gonna save them for last. So we're gonna to go to learning plan. And just like before, you've got multiple options here. I want you guys to skip computer literacy unless you really need to know how to use the internet. Most of you are pretty savvy with that, so I would recommend skipping it and going right on to the Aztec reading section. Once again, this unfolds into four different units and just start on the first one. It saved my progress at 16%. So wherever you finish, if you have to go and pick up the kids from school, just exit out of this program, your progress, your notes, everything will be saved in here for you. I'm gonna begin picking up where I left off on the main idea and theme development. And just to show you guys, it's starting from the beginning, but you can always skip ahead to whatever the last slide um, was that you were working on. Notice I have it muted here. So if you do better with um, a voice reading to you, you can activate that as well. Once you've gone through all 36 and you're on the very last slide, again, some of them are videos, some of them are drag and drops. It'll tell you, look, congratulations, you've completed the lesson. Exit the lesson. And just like we showed you before, you're gonna go ahead and do the drill on main idea and theme development. This one is a little more complicated. Like I was mentioning, you've got to read a little section and then answer the question. If you choose wrong, then it'll clearly tell you there that you are incorrect and explain to you why that was not the right answer. Then just move on. Make sure you go through all 10 of these. And again, at the end, you can submit your drill. And as I mentioned earlier, review it under the activity scores. Once you've completed all of the sections under reading, we're just gonna focus on one subject at a time. Finish reading or social studies, whichever one you're working on. There's a post-test. We'd encourage you to take that post-test and it's only gonna be in this case, 20 questions. You'll get your results right away. 
and you can text or email those to your teacher. Let them know you finished the reading section, you've taken the post test. What does your teacher recommend next? Typically, what we will say is go back to that top part, which is your dashboard. And again, on the dashboard, you're going to go to classrooms. And once again, you're going to select the Aztec prep. In the prep, we're, instead of going to learning plan this time, we're going to go to practice tests. These again are more difficult, in my opinion, than the official high set exams. So if you score well on this test, I'll click on it right now. It means you are more than prepared to sign up for the official exam. This is 50 questions and it is going to be timed. Again, the timer is going up. The goal is for you to try to take this test in 65 minutes. Why 65? It's the same number of questions, 50, as the official exam. And on the official exam, the real one, you will have 65 minutes. So the goal obviously is to try to finish it in that same amount of time. If you go a little bit over, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it'll be, give you a very good idea though of where you stand and how close and prepared you are to take the official exam. So after you finish this, again, text, um, text or email your teacher and with the score that you got on the practice exam for reading, and then we'll be able to connect with you. We can do a very quick, either a Zoom or a phone call or just a couple of texts and recommend where it is that you go next. And that'll be in our follow-up video, which is, so you finish the preparation in Aztec for reading or social or math. Now what? What's the next step? And that's going to be to see if you're ready to sign up for an official exam. So that's going to be the next uh, little YouTube video that we have on our site link. So I will see you there once you're ready to advance to that next step. That's all for now. Hope this has been somewhat helpful and we will check back with you shortly. Take care.